Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy, Alan. And Josh Lick. And welcome to We Talk. This is our gaming podcast that we do hopefully every week. This is our first episode, and our YouTube links will be in the description. And if you're wondering who in the hell is Josh, this is my best friend. We do things in real life. We're not homosexuals. But anyway... Uh. <laughs> But anyway, we have some topics we're going to talk about. We got Skyrim, we got Black Ops 2, the Black Hawks, we got presidential debate 2012, Obama versus Romney, we got Modern Warfare 3, we got all kinds of stuff. So let's get it off started right with one of my favorite games of all time, Skyrim. And when I say Skyrim, we're specifically talking about the DLC Dragonborn, and um What's your thoughts on that? Will there be Dragonborn DLC? Or more DLC in that matter? Uh, the rumors are not denied by Beth the Sodia. Uh, so huh? it, it's definitely coming out. Uh, uh, Bethesda. But, oh, did I say Beth the Sodia? Same thing. It didn't work. Uh, Same <laughs> we know what it is. Well, I know what it is, Bethesda. And um, like you were saying, they haven't uh, denied it. They haven't confirmed it. So in gaming world, that usually means yes. Because if they were to deny it and it comes out, they would be liars. But if they didn't deny it, then they would have <laughs> they would have nothing to like promote. We already know this shit's coming out. You, know? you, know, so you get what I'm coming from. So they can't go either way. So that's why they haven't denied it. They haven't confirmed it because they know it's coming out. And and if people don't know how DLC works, usually most games come out with DLC every three months because it gives them a time to it gives them two months to make it and a month to promote it. That's how it works. But um, I definitely think there'll be DLC because the game is still young, fresh blood. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. And um, you know, so you definitely think that there'll be more DLC for the game. Oh no, <laughs> it's uh, undeniable at this point. Um... I can't wait uh, I, to come out because I'm a huge Skyrim fan. I love, I love me some Skyrim. Uh, so it's yeah. posted all over my channel, of course. I love me some Skyrim. Um, um, yeah, I was gonna put more videos on my channel as well, but it, it, for videos for Skyrim really all you can do is like maybe tips and let's plays. And I'm not much of a tips kind of guy unless it's Call of Duty. Um, and let's plays are just I don't know, they're just not me. Um, but I, I know you had some experience with that because you definitely did a lot of videos for Skyrim uh, on your channel. But uh, I did not. But I still love Skyrim just as much as he does. But he'll deny that. But <laughs> we're looking at him shaking his fucking head. Um, but our next, our next, listen, our next topic is Mono Warfare Three. Waste a motherfucking three. <laughs> but hey! uh, but uh, do you think that Modern Warfare 3 was worth 60 bucks? Do you think that it was a good game? Do you think they spent a whole year on the game or what? Uh, copy and paste. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> it, that, that shit's all copy and paste. Um, that, that is a Modern Warfare 2. Uh, so you're point. telling me all they did is smoke weed for six and a half months. <laughs> No, I'm saying they, they pretty much just spent all the MW2 money on themselves and not on producing another game that would yeah. give me some enjoyment. Uh, yeah. all, all, all that was for me, like, Modern Warfare 3, good, some good moments, just but more bad moments than I had the good moments. Uh, stressful game, but all Call of Duty are stressful. Uh, but see, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. But like, like I was saying, yes, all Call of Duty's are stressful, but because they put crap in the game that makes it stressful. Now I understand that they have Dead Man's Hand, Noob Tubes, Assassin, Blind Eye. Yes, it does sound bad. Uh, RPGs. They don't really need all this. But the reason they have all this in the game is because one, entertainment factor. It adds more entertainment to the game. I understand that. I understand that. But. You, what it's really meant for is to help the people that just started playing the game to get better at the game. But here's what the problem is. You have people who do not get off the dick riding contest. They still use FMG9s. They still use Assassin 300 days later. Like, it's meant to help you get better. And then once you get your legs, you get your sea legs, so to speak, 
um, you can walk on your own two feet without having to use that the crutch, so to speak. But um, I definitely think that they did have some good ideas, like specialists. Specialists is fun. Now, in my opinion, if they didn't have the Moab, YouTube and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 would have not worked out as so good. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So what would you do six months later if there was no Moab? There'd be no quad mob, there'd be no, you know, Penta, whatever. And there would be hardly any videos of Modern Warfare 3. Because what else do you do? 100 plus kills? Sniper. You know, there's really not much. Modern I mean, they've done that. About it. Um, I think the Moab definitely saved Modern Warfare 3 some bit. It didn't save it, but it helped it. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, and, and okay, and here's the last thing about Modern Warfare 3. Would you recommend somebody else to buy the game? No. No. Uh, not at this point in time, no. Well, <laughs> Save that money Black Ops, Black Ops. Ops. Yeah. next month, but... Save that. Um, I mean, like, just give an example. Like, if we were to play... Like, if we went back in time six months later, would you... And you knew what you know now, would you let's, Would you say go ahead and buy that for 60 bucks? Well, the odds are that his friends are going to have that game. Yeah, uh-huh. So, good. yeah, probably... That's one reason I bought it, because one, also, I do YouTube, and I love putting up videos of the newest Call of Duty, so that's one reason I did it. Well, that's not the biggest reason, it's one of the reasons, um, like you said, my friends, and if, you know, if my friends were to stay on the, like, if my friends still played Black Ops and they didn't switch, I probably would have stayed at Black Ops, but because they switched over, I switched over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, let's get, let's go ahead and get to the next topic, and our, our next topic is Black Ops 2. And uh, I believe you had some topics. What you had some topics for me? Um, you were talking about the kill streaks. Yeah, well, they have the RCXD and something called a oh, lightning sh- airstrike. So, what's what's going on there? What what do you think of that? I'm gonna tell you what's going on right here. Okay, I don't know about the other one, but the R the um the RCXD. I hate that thing. <laughs> like I, you know, I can't tell you how many times I die by. Okay, listen, listen. You're using a kill streak that only can get you one or two kills. Okay, and first of all, you have to call it in, and you have to get a care package. So you're risking your life to call in a kill streak that gets you one or two kills, and you can possibly lose it. Okay, and not only that, but I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool kill streak. Like I like the design. Like it reminds me of. You ever seen the movie A Home Alone? Yeah. Doesn't that remind you that? Reminds me of that. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, but I mean, and the other one I don't know much about. Like the only real kill streak that, well, there's two kill streaks that I'm interested in, is dogs and blackbird. Okay. There's only two kill streaks I'm interested in in the entire thing. Like don't get me wrong, there's some cool ones out there, but I want dogs and blackbird. And what what what's your opinion? I know you don't really. Um, care too much for kill streaks. You're more you're, you want to know about the snipers. What's I love snipers too. We'll get that to that here soon. But what's your opinion on the kill streaks? Kill streaks. Um, there's a kill streak called the ACR, and that just looks sexy. I'm not gonna lie, sexy. There's a kill streak called ACR. Yeah. What does it make your gun uh, no recoil? No, it looks like a motherfucking tank. Good lord. I know. Well, it- it's not the ACR, your people. I mean, like, Modern Warfare 3 had ACR, but, but it's some kind of, what, robot or something? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Like you're, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a crab on steroids mixed with Terminator. More or less. More, more or less. Thank you. <laughs> I just made that up, obviously, but but I, you, you get that. You, people, you watching right now, you, you can picture that in your head, can't you? <laughs> you can picture that in your head. But, uh. Okay, okay, here's a question I want to ask you. Have you ever seen RoboCop? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Terminator? Yeah. Which one do you prefer? It's a big question. Probably RoboCop. RoboCop? Because he's a nice guy, and he doesn't die because he gets, you know, falls into a pit of lava. What do <laughs> do die? Plus, he has a gun on his, comes out his leg. It pops out his freaking leg. He's got a gun. Pow. But, um... I would go with RoboCop, but, um, yeah, okay, now, now let's get to the sniping part of this um, topic, Black Ops 2, you know, whatever. Um, you're a big sniper, you love trick shots, you love quick scopes, you love all that stuff, so what, what's your thought, and what you, what are you looking forward to the game? Like, do you think that they're going to have what you want? Uh, they're definitely not going to have trick shots, um, they never were into that, that's more of a 
Modern Warfare 2 type thing. Uh, I don't think they'll ever make a Call of Duty 4 trick shots again. I don't even think they meant for trick shots to be in MW2. It's just that all the little glitches and stuff like that for your gun. It worked just out great. That out. Shot just about any, it worked out great for Modern Warfare 2. They had everything that you could want for trick shots. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, not so much. They still had some cool stuff. You know, they had um, that look and they had that style. That's that's what I love uh, when I trick shot. And then they had the the snipers. I, I don't know why. It was just easy to snipe in Modern Warfare 2. So. So, do you think that did you, you do you think that you can you can quit, I mean not Quisco but uh, trick shot in Black Ops 2? Do you, do you think you'll be able to do that even though that it's not still Modern Warfare no. 3 or Modern Warfare? Uh, you won't, or you you gonna try, right? You gonna at least try. Well, you could try, but they're not gonna look all that great, which is mostly what trick shots are. You do it for the look, uh, but they're definitely gonna have quick scopes in Black Ops 2 because uh, you might have seen it on Optic Optics channel that they've been posting quick scopes of the game already, and uh, some sniper montages. Uh, phase, phase. Uh, I think it's Heist maybe has a montage already up huh. OCE of sniping on it so do you, okay so we already know there's going to be quick scopes we're going to be pretty decent at quick scoping do you think it's going to be better than black ops uh, one was like easier or harder or the same it, it looks easier to tell you the truth um, from what i've seen on the gameplay the scope does zoom in faster so, fairly fast uh fairly fairly yeah um well, in my opinion, yeah, there's going to be quick scopes. Um, it, do I, I want to know if it's going to be, because I want it to where the the um the noobs or the snipers that are not very good, um, can just pick it up and get get some kills. You know what I'm saying? Like I want it to be a challenge. I want it to where, I mean, I'm not wanting to where it's like, oh, it's, you know, you can't do it. I want it to where that you have to put day after day after day to get good at something. You feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you don't put in the time, you don't deserve to be good at something. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like I mean, I can understand. It's not hard to snipe. It's it was it's it's, it's easy to quick scope. It's hard to snipe. Basically, what I'm saying, like, because when I when I say snipe and quick scope, quick scope, you your 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 basic mind is just to, to zoom in fast. When you want to snipe, you have to do everything. You got to be able to no scope. You got to be able to trick shot. You got to be able to hard scope. You got to be able to quick scope. You got to be able to jump shot. You know what I'm saying? Like you have. That's what I talk about sniping. Quick scoping is only when you just do one thing. I don't want to do one thing. I want to do it all. But uh, okay, what's your what's your thoughts on the whole no scope thing? Will you be rocking no scope, iron sights all the way, baby? Uh, I don't know. That that depends on when the game gets here. Uh, if I if I grasp the feel of the gun, maybe, and I learn how to use it more efficiently, then maybe. But Right now, I'm I'm really thinking about rocking a scope. Um, Me too. But yeah, I do want to try something new. I do. So. Cause, cause I know you're a big World of War kind of guy, and they had um, iron sights too for the snipers. I, mean, I didn't play much World of War, be it that, but I played a lot of Call of Duty too, and they had the same thing as World of War did, basically with the snipers. And um, I was decent at it. I was nowhere near the skill level I could have been with a scope, but I was decent. And uh, I'm definitely wanting to try that out and see. You know what I can do with a with an with an iron sight sniper rifle. But yeah, that's 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 just my thoughts on it. And um, are you are you really excited for the zombies? Uh, I'm always excited for zombies. That's just uh, there's barely any stress in zombies. That's why I love it. Uh, I know, right? It's like uh, playing Minecraft almost, but except like it's you know it's awesome. You kill this out of Nazi. No, the zombie's going to be... No, wait. No, the zombie's going to be uh, patients, right? Mentally ill patients, right? Or hospital patients. Because we've seen the trailer, right? Where, like, they're running and, like, these zombies are, like, in, like, these, like, uh, robes or something. Like, a hospital would have on. Because uh, before, remember, it was, it was like, the Japanese, then the Nazis, and then... Uh, I don't know what else it was. But I remember they had Nazis and, and they had the Japanese. So are you are you looking forward to that? Like they're not having the Nazis and stuff? Because I love killing me some Nazis. <laughs> uh, speaking speaking of uh, that, what happened? Uh, did you see the trailer with the bus? Okay, the bus. Okay, I know all about the bus. Well, most of it. I don't know all of it. I know 90% of the story. But basically, what it is is you have to somehow get on that bus 
And I don't know if you had to put gas in it or get some kind of, you know, get the battery or whatever. But you had to get on the bus to get to the next location. So basically, you're going to get on that bus and you're going to travel to the next part of the map. Okay, it's kind of like opening the door, except you're opening the, you're, you're getting on that bus and going to the next part of the map. Okay, so you might go through four different locations. You might one minute be at a hospital, next minute be at a casino, next minute be uh, at a zoo. I don't know, but you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Um, have you seen the work? That's cool. The work, the what? The uh, in the bus one, they're having work benches. So you can like customize your weapons. You can like, uh, fuck, like for instance, they have this car battery, and I don't know the specific of what you have to combine it with, but it makes like a motorcycle with weapons on it. Oh. And shit. Yeah. So. Uh, now, they they have what eight eight players now. You can have. All right. Wait, they they so, made it up. They, like, they added more players that you could have in it? Well, in, in, in my, here's what I think. I, now, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I've heard that you can have eight players, and basically what it is is your four players versus their four players. Who can survive longer? Basically. Yeah. Is what I'm, that's what I'm, um, I'm going off of. Now, I don't know if that's true, like I said, but you, it, what they're trying to do is they're trying to go off of what Left 4 Dead did. And make it more into the campaign and stuff. And I and I believe eventually, I don't know if you and, and I want you to hear your opinion on this, but I don't know, eventually they're probably gonna have zombies on its own separate disc. Um it's a uh, twenty one minutes in hell, twenty minutes to count. <laughs> um <laughs> But uh, zombies eventually, in my opinion, will have their own game. Because they could do that, couldn't they? Because there's yeah. a lot of people that play zombies. I mean, there's people that don't even give a damn about the multiplayer campaign at all. They could eventually, you know, branch off and have their own zombie game. Now, I don't know. They might not do that, but you understand what I'm saying then. Yeah. But um, I'm definitely, are you, um, will you, you're getting Black Ops 2 when it comes out or Christmas? Uh, probably won't get it on the night release. <clears throat> but when I get home from school, <clears throat> I'll definitely get it. Probably on the second day it comes out. So you will be a Christmas noob, huh? Hey, Christmas. If, 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 yeah, no. For for people yeah. that don't know what I'm talking about, is basically people that get the game when it comes out, they already know what's going on. The people that get it for Christmas, they don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you just rape this out of because the other Christmas noob, they just got the game, they don't know what this is, they don't know what's going on. I'm sitting there tea bagging them, they don't know what happened. <laughs> But um, I'm definitely the game. For, hey, what the hell's a flat jacket? Flat jacket. Um, are you also? What about, what about what about Ghost? What about Ghost? You like that? That how you have to move? To, they changed the name of it. They didn't change the name. It's called Ghost. But they made it to where if you're not moving, you show up on the radar. Now, do you think that that still gives like? Would you wear it now? If huh. if if. Huh. Um, what would you call somebody? It does for anyways. It's because, like, when I try my flanking maneuvers, yeah, they, you know. That's right, though. That's right. Ghost should be only. I think that's that's how it should have been all along. Like, like if you're if you're if you're not moving, then what's the point of having Ghost on? Like, the whole point of Ghost is to get behind the enemy because you're so silent that you are a Ghost to get behind the enemy. You feel what I'm saying? That's the whole point of Ghost, right? That yeah. makes sense. Like, now. I will definitely try it out. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to use it because um, I mainly want to just use it for the high KD when the game comes out. As soon as the game comes out, I'm going to pop it on that ghost, pop it on that most powerful gun, and beast it on some noobs. But, uh, uh, hold on, Josh is trying to show me. I can't see nothing. All I see is white. It's white. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't see nothing but white. I'm not trying to be racist. I am white, but <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but um 25 mother <laughs> did you say barney five <laughs> barney five <laughs> barney five uh, <laughs> but um okay um what do you want you want to talk about the uh president's debate or minecraft uh let's go with presidential that that's something that needs to be discussed i need to speak my opinion <laughs> 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 okay, Romney versus Obama. Now uh, you're not old enough to, to vote yet, but okay, let's just okay. Now, okay, have you watched any of the debates? Have you do you know anything? 
let's see. I know that Romney's more of a rich type guy, and the Obama, Mr. Obama, is trying to help us, us little folk, little tiny folk <laughs> down here in uh, West Virginia. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to help the middle class more. Middle class, like. Um. Uh, well, okay. From my standpoint, I want to vote for Obama, mainly because he's black, and I don't want to be racist, but. <laughs> Uh, that's just a joke. I hope people don't give me any flat. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. It was a joke. It was, uh, you know. But anyway, in my opinion, I want to vote for uh, Obama because one, Rom, he just looks like a dick, and and, <laughs> and and he, you know, he says all these things, but you, then again, he don't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I've watched all the debates, and it seems like basically what he wants to do is he wants to tax more people. From like from the the middle class and everything, he wants to tax them more. He doesn't want to tax the rich people. Okay, how does that make sense? If he doesn't want to tax, why does he tax the rich people? Take their money. They got plenty of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he's rich, he don't want to tax them. Okay, because he's rich okay, too. He doesn't want to get taxed. I mean, yeah. Okay. Now, now I understand that there's arguments on both sides. I mean, then again, if you look at Obama, he hasn't really done anything in the last four years. <laughs> but then again, you know, Romney, he's just a jackass talking about out of his ass. You know? <laughs> so, okay, basically where I was coming from is if you were old enough right now to vote, who would you vote for on, on a dime? You would not have any doubts. Would, who would you vote for? Damn, talk about a spot. Uh, did, like, honestly, I hate, like, both of them. And you wouldn't vote for anyone unless you, you, you know... You wouldn't even want to vote for neither, would you? No. I think I think we need a sassy black girl for our president. <laughs> oh no. I can't stand about that. You charged me two dollars on the cocoa butter. Ah hand <laughs> you know what I'm, the whole finger thing and the, the afro. Oh shit. But um I, I would vote for Obama, but that's me. Um, I don't know if you would do the same, but um, I'm not voting this year. Though. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to vote because uh, I really don't like neither of them. I mean, but I mean, if I had to, Obama would be the one problem. Um, I don't know if you feel the same about that, but that's just me. You know yeah, if saying? I had to, it would be Obama. Obama! <laughs> Plus, he has a rap song. Obama, but... Obama, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that, but uh, <laughs> Minecraft. Okay, let's talk about the Minecraft. How do you liking it? The 1.8.2 updates. Um, <laughs> that's just adding more excitement to Minecraft. Minecraft. Um, God knows, I was I was getting bored of the regular Minecraft. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I don't even know how I even played it that long without getting bored. Yeah, I think. I, mean, I, just, I, I couldn't go back. I couldn't go back. <laughs> if they said, "Oh, we're we're done. We're just gonna take this away from you," because you know we don't want you to have this. No I mean, I couldn't do it. I'd be done. Now, oh, and there's another game I want to talk about before we end this podcast, which we're hopefully doing this every week. Um, if I can get Josh on here or me, thirty either one, but... minutes. I'll tell you that. Huh? Thirty minutes. You want thirty minutes? <laughs> yeah. <Hoorah! laughs> but uh, anyway, okay. Let's get to this. Uh, the Minecraft, Minecraft, and the. So you love the update. Okay, what is your... What do you do not like about the update? What do they not do that you didn't like? Not a damn thing. I'll, I'll tell you that right I now. Have, I have a problem, but I do. Because there's, 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 there's a couple problems I have, okay? Now, I know that I'm being bitchy about it, but I have problems, okay? And I'm going to lay the all down. Wait, oh, I got one. I got one. Go ahead. But, damn, okay. I got one. First thing is the ender pearls. Okay, why do they not? Why do you add something if it doesn't work? What's the point of that? It's there to look at. I can't touch it. How am I supposed to? What? What? I, 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 okay. And another thing is, okay, they didn't add. I wanted more blocks. Like I wanted more like wood blocks and like the. You know how they have like um dark and light and um uh, different kinds like jungle. I wanted jungle trees. I wanted to grow like giant jungle trees. Didn't they have that. Another thing they didn't have is, like, on the PC version, when you want lava or water, you get it in your hand. There is no buckets. 
and you can just place it down without stopping, okay? But on the on the Xbox, now I understand it's the Xbox versus the PC kind of thing, but but you have to like replace every bucket of lava or water that you use with another bucket, okay? But that's the really only problem I have. Now, what's your problem with it? Sponges. Sponges? Sponges don't do shit. <laughs> like, I, like, I was like, oh, I, man. I, <laughs> I, like, what? I know, like, maybe sponges are supposed to suck up some water. So, I was building me an underwater house. I had my sponge. I set the sponge. Not a damn thing happened. Uh, I was so mad. Suck them, buddy. <laughs> but uh, listen, 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 listen. I like, I like. Listen, listen, I love the sponges because I'm gonna build a giant SpongeBob, and you can go yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, I think we should we should wrap it up. I think that's enough for one one episode, which we'll hopefully want to do another ten or so. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, this has been your boy Alan, and this has been Josh Leg. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you on the yep. side. So uh, see you next week, fellas. Peace. Bye-bye.